artists and welcome back to art class. For this week's project, we're going to start learning about some of our elements of art. And the first element of art is line. Okay? Think about what you think a line is made between any first point and a second point. It could be straight, it could be curvy. Lines can go in any direction. The shortest kind of line is simply a dot. If I were to take my marker and I wanted to make the shortest line possible, I could just go right there. That little dot right there is the shortest possible line. Otherwise, a line could go on infinitely forever and ever and ever and never stop. They could do anything. But there are different kinds of lines that you can use to create different kinds of art. For example, you could have a wavy line. You could have a zigzag line. Zigzag lines are sharp and pointy. They go up and down and you have to make sure that they're nice and sharp. You could have a spiral where the line could just keep going around and around and around. You could have a curly line. Makes little loops, just like curly hair. You can also have a castle line. This is kind of like making little squares or rectangles. You could have a curvy line. Curvy lines could just, it's just a line that you bend. And it could be down, it could be sideways, it could be up, it could look like a rainbow, a horseshoe, it could go any direction. You can also have a broken line or a dashed line, which is a line that has little spaces in between. It's broken up into little pieces. Or you could have a line completely made out of dots, and they could go any which direction. Now these three lines are very important because they talk about the direction of the line. A horizontal line goes from side to side, okay? Just like a horizon line. For example, if we were to look at a picture of outside or a landscape, we would see the horizon line and the sun comes up over the horizon. The horizon can't be sideways like this or vertical because the sun doesn't come out sideways, right? That would be silly. But the sun comes up over the horizon and sets on the horizon too. So this is a horizontal line. It goes from side to side. The other line you have is if you take a horizontal line and flip it the other way, you have a vertical line. And a vertical line goes up and down. When we stand up, we are standing vertically, right? We're not tilted sideways and we're not laying on the floor. We're standing straight up and down. We are vertical. And lastly, if you take that vertical line and you tilt it just a little bit from corner to corner, you get a diagonal line. And a diagonal line could go this way, or it could tilt the other way too. And if you put two diagonal lines on top of each other, you're going to get a letter X. If you said X, you had it right. And any of these lines curly lines, wavy lines, they could go any of these directions. You can see my wavy lines are horizontal, but my curly line, I drew up and down, I drew vertically. So they could go any of these directions. And we're gonna be learning more about these lines and using them to make some of our projects this year in art. Now I do have a fun poem to teach you to help you with some of our lines. And it is about a friend of mine named Larry the Line. He is an animal that could bend itself into different lines. I want you to think about different animals. What animal could make different lines, could twist and turn and face different directions? Think about it. Do you think it's a cow? No. What about a duck? A duck could totally make lines, right? No. What about a snake? Mm -hmm. Larry is a snake, and Larry can help us remember some of our lines, specifically our horizontal, our vertical, and our diagonal lines. So I'm going to teach you a little poem, and then I might have a little someone for you to meet. So I'm going to say the line, and I want you to repeat it after me. Now I know that we're not together in class, but I still want you to repeat them at home. All right? So Larry the line is a friend of mine. He can make three straight lines for me. Vertical, 
diagonal, horizontal. Any curve he can learn with a twist and a turn. When he's out of his tangle, he makes a great angle. Any line he can make, after all, he's a snake. All right, so you can rewind the video and you can practice that poem, but we are gonna do it again together because I do have someone here to meet you and that would be Larry the Lion. Hello, Larry. How are you today? He's good. You see all the boys and girls on the camera? Oh, Larry, too close. Too close, Larry. Too close. So Larry is going to help us do our poem one more time. What do you think? Can we do it all together? All right. So remember, I will say the line and you're going to repeat after me. And Larry's going to do it along with us. Okay. What do you think, Larry? Larry says yes. We're going to do it together. So Larry the Lion is a friend of mine. He can make three straight lines for me. Right, Larry? Vertical, diagonal, horizontal. Ooh, Larry, very nice. Any curve he can learn with a twist and a turn. When he's out of his tangle, he makes a great angle. Any line he can make, after all, he's a snake. Great job, Larry, and great job, boys and girls. So that's a fun poem that you can practice to help you remember some of your lines, especially your vertical, diagonal, and horizontal lines, which we're going to need for our next project. So I hope you all had fun. Say bye, Larry.